We start tonight with concerns and rumors about an eerie business with half a dozen employees who tested positive for COVID-19. This coming after the first weekend of the yellow phase for the Erie region. Samir Nefsi joins us now in the newsroom after speaking with the county executive today. Samir. Sean, good evening to you. County Executive Kathy Dahlkemper saying no business is a hundred percent safe when uh, answering questions regarding a business in Erie that had six employees test positive for COVID-19. This, uh, you know, case we had last week with a number of employees was not the first business that we've had this situation and it won't be the last. County Executive Kathy Dahlkemper saying she will not release the name of the business. Her reason? To protect the establishment, adding any business that has COVID-19 positive workers must follow CDC given guidelines to ensure the well-being of workers and customers. Listed in the guidelines are rules like the employee must isolate and not be at work. Look at other employees and determine who has had contact with the individual and then they would need to quarantine. Then the business must clean their facility. This business is not a threat to the general public any more than walking inside of any building that you don't live in. The county executive also addressing discrepancies with numbers from the state, saying a team is working on the data to clear any miscalculation of cases. Monday, Erie County was listed with a negative one case. There are three others pending. So it could be a number of different reasons uh, why these cases uh, are currently listed as Erie County cases, and maybe they really aren't our cases. It could be um, just a number of things. Adding the county is completely confident that they have the names and addresses of positive COVID-19 cases. As for new COVID-19 cases in Erie County, there are six new cases from the weekend. One person is under five years old, a 20-year-old, two 30-year-olds, one 50-year-old, and a person in their 80s. Three live in Zone 1 with other cases in Zone 2, 3, and 5. All are believed to be connected to known positive cases. To date, Erie County has 120 cases, two deaths, and 84 recovered. The county executive adding that there was discussion with the state regarding hair salons and if they can open. Unfortunately, the state is sticking by their uh, original rule. They are not going to be reopening, citing uh, a lack of social distancing. Is that reason, Sean? And Samir Nefsi in the newsroom. Thank you, Samir.